A trifle is simply just a layered dessert. And I love this one because it includes every festive flavor of the holiday season. So we have a saucepan heated to about medium, and then we're gonna add two ingredients, butter and brown sugar. And we need to keep stirring those until it's evenly incorporated and the whole thing bubbles. So once the butter and brown sugar begin to bubble, then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients for our caramelized pear layer. So I've taken about six pears and peeled them, cored them, and cut them into about a fourth inch thick slices. Now let me tell you, if that doesn't work for you, you do your thing. You can leave the skins on, you can chop them into chunks, you can do whatever works for you. It's all gonna taste the same and it's all gonna be just as delicious. So then some fresh cranberries and then a few different seasonings. Some vanilla extract, juice of an orange, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love, love, love ground cinnamon for the season. This smells amazing, by the way. And our final thing that we need in here is some fresh grated orange zest. Okay, so this is gonna hang out and simmer, and we want it to simmer long enough to give the pears time to caramelize, which means their natural sugars are gonna concentrate and get juicy and delicious. So while our pears are caramelizing, let's work on another layer of our trifle. I already whipped together a Jell-O instant vanilla pudding with some milk, and then I used that as a canvas for more holiday flavors. So I added some cinnamon, some freshly grated nutmeg, and then I also added a secret ingredient, which was a little bit of rum extract. So we're gonna fold this pudding mixture into some freshly whipped cream. All right, our trifle's ready to assemble. So now let's begin building the layers of our trifle. First, I took a gingerbread cake mix and just made it according to the box directions baked it, let it cool, and then I cut it into cubes. So this is gonna be the first layer of our trifle. So I like to just get in there with my hands and get the thing done. Okay, that looks perfect. Then our second layer is gonna be our vanilla pudding mixture. For this, I love to use an ice cream or a cookie scoop because it's so easy and it also kinda keeps the whole thing beautiful. Okay, perfect. All right, and then the third layer is our caramelized pears and cranberries. And just kind of lay it in there with your fingers. That way there's a little bit of every bite. And even if some juice kind of seeps out, it's gonna be absorbed by the cake. This is one of those perfect desserts that you can make ahead. You let it sit in the refrigerator and oh, it's even better later because the flavors all meld together. All right, and then we do the whole thing again. Perfect. Okay, now let me show you my favorite way to top this with a garnish that is so easy, it's gonna become your favorite thing to do this season, and it's gonna wow your guests as well. I just take fresh rosemary, and then these are fresh cranberries, and I make an egg wash. So just whip up some egg whites with a little bit of water, and then brush them on the rosemary and, and the cranberries, and then roll it in sugar. Let them set in the refrigerator, and check this out. Look at how beautiful this is. It looks like little bits of ice. It's so festive, so fun. There you go. And everybody's gonna go, where'd you get that? And you're gonna say, I made it. And they're gonna want the recipe too. It's bright, it's festive, it's fun. And pretty soon it's gonna be devoured because I'm diving right in. For this recipe and many more, visit Shaw's.com.